Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day and today we're here with a Dust Devils guide for Old School RuneScape in my endless adventure to make as many Slayer guides and boss guides as possible. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure to leave a like. Let me know any guides you'd like to see in a comment down below and on top of that there are links down below at which you could support me on other platforms and I'd greatly appreciate that. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into the guide. So to start, should you kill Dust Devils as a Slayer task? In my opinion, yes, very much so. This is a not even questionable task in my opinion it has meta xp not really in terms of combat i mean a lot of slayer tasks are going to kind of be close to meta but magic xp here and slayer xp through magic is absurd so very very good and you can profit depending on how you're going about it if you're paying too much for your magic spells then you might not profit but it is profitable to an extent so that is a really good thing because it kind of helps you get that cost back if you do plan on barraging or bursting these. For the requirements, 65 Slayer is the only hard and fast rule that you're going to need. Beyond that, 43 Prayer and 70 Magic would be nice to have. 43 Prayer allows you to protect melee, which is good because these do hit a little bit and if you're going to be bursting or barraging them, you will have to gather a bunch of them so it will be necessary at that point to use Prayer. And 70 Magic allows you to Ice Burst, which is the first good magic spell that is cast on a group. Dust Devils are essentially weak to everything. They really don't have much defense. So magic and melee are going to be the two you want to focus here because those are the most effective in terms of XP per hour. Dust Devils will attack with melee. So you're going to want to have good melee defenses or melee prayer overhead. And their max hit can be an eight or a 10 depending on what level they are. And if you're not wearing a face mask, it can be up to a 16. That will be constant and they will drain your stats. So you don't want to do that. As far as loot that you could get here, there is a one in 80 chance of a Konar key. If if you have a task assigned through Konar, a 1 in 32k chance at a dragon chain body, which is just absurd, but it's kind of like the cool old thing that people used to hunt. Doesn't really mean much now. And 3.5k GP a kill is about what you should be picking up, assuming you have an herb sack, some high alk runes, and stuff like that to be able to optimize the drops that you're getting. Onto the melee gear on the left hand side is kind of the lower level setup that is optional. I figure at this point, most people probably have 60s in their melee if you have 65 Slayer. It's just kind of how most people progress through the game. So the setup should be pretty attainable. Most everything is listed down below if you need some more particulars on what the items are. But on the left hand side i went for prayer with that one and monk's robes are just something people have early on i figure in the middle more defensive and kind of med level and then on the far right hand side not a fully maxed out setup but a pretty high level setup that's going to cost you a pretty penny also i'll throw up some weapon alternatives for the high levels you can use almost anything you want here like i said earlier they're essentially weak to everything so whatever weapon you have that you like using go for it and then as far as gear alternatives if you do want to mix it up maybe at the lower levels and come here without prayer you could use a torso and some dragon plate legs or maybe a granite plate body whatever you want to do wouldn't recommend it personally because i think you'll get hit a lot but if you need to save the money you can and then prayer gears as well are good if you're just a higher level player that wants to afk i'm a big fan of afking so i always throw them in there for the magic gear there are two setups that i have listed here there are a few things you could replace on the left to make it a little cheaper, but the left hand side is kind of like a 5 to 10 mil setup for bursting or barraging, while on the right hand side is just kind of like an all out, mostly max setup in terms of bursting or barraging. It's kind of strange on the left hand side, but you do want to go for prayer bonus, that's why I'm wearing the proselyte. It's not really worth it to switch gear until you can get to that highest tier of armor. And then for Slayer rates, you can expect anywhere from 15k to 30k XP per hour in Slayer for the melees. If you want your combat XP, just multiply those times 4. Anywhere from 60k to 120k, depending on your levels and if you're praying. Um, and then for Magic, anywhere from 40k to 80k. Pretty wide ranges, but again, I'm trying to capture a good chunk of players here. But that Slayer XP per hour that you can get through Magic is unrivaled through a lot of the melee methods. Which is why Dust Devils and Necreals are so coveted, because you can burst and barrage them at pretty med levels so to start we'll go through the bursting and barraging setup my gear is a little bit different because i'm on a hardcore iron man but mostly want to talk about the inventory how to get there how to set it up you're going to need some form of quick range weapon to stack them all i have steel darts for that you can also bring a dens bulwark if you have it to use a special attack to aggro a bunch of them I don't have it on my iron. An imbued heart would be good if you can afford that. I have a slayer ring to get back to a master, a bone crusher for all the bones they'll drop and getting some prayer points down in the catacombs, an explorer's ring to high alk things. Personally, I wouldn't really high alk much here. I would do it if I needed to because I have the explorer's ring three and I can only low alk. But if you have the four, 
you can high elk with it and that's very nice because you'll be on the ancient spell book and a xerix talisman to get there some sort of teleport to maneuver your way there in addition i have bracelets of slaughter and i just wear them because it's easier and afk for me these are going to extend the task basically giving you a 25 percent chance of just not having kills count whenever you kill the dust devils which is really nice because it just allows you to burst longer essentially and then for the inventory i have 10 prayer potions and some cooked crab wands i really don't need them but just in case some nice emergency food is good so i'm going to make my way on over to the catacombs of Karan by going to the xerix Heart, find your way there however you would like. As far as how to get here, there is a house teleport down here to the southeast, a Xerix Talisman teleport over there, a Memoir teleport right there, there's also a Karen teleport over here, and if you can't use any of those, you can always just travel here through the ports and then just run to the west. Once you find your way on over, just go down to the statue, and when you are down below, make your way on over to the east, run by a couple rooms of moss giants, and then just continue going southeast, and you'll find the first room of dust devils. This is the melee room, not the bursting room, there's a nice large room with more of them over here, so this is the one that people typically like to go for um, it's usually going to be full so you're gonna have to find yourself a world one way or another once you got a free world go ahead and throw on your ranged weapon and just start stacking up all the dust devils uh, typically they'll stay on you and there's really not too much to worry about if some start roaming too far to the north or south some may unaggro, just like that one just did. Uh, don't worry about that, just pick them back up and you'll be good to go. Once you have them all aggroed on you, just run down to the southeast part of the room. And then I typically just use this little spot here to run back and forth and stack them up. Uh, basically, you just want to be able to have them all in a nice little square. So then you can just go ahead, throw on your staff and get to bursting or barraging, whichever one you are up to. Uh, basically, just really, really good magic XP along with Slayer XP. So this is definitely the way that you should be training a lot of your magic on your account through those med levels. It's just whenever you get a Slayer task at Dust Devils or Necreals, make sure you're bursting and barraging. And the, I mean, the levels come pretty easy. I'm close to another one right now. And personally, my magic should be higher on this account, but sometimes I like to AFK, what can I say? Maybe I'll melee a task or something along those lines. But beyond that, I mean, as far as like drops go, there's really nothing too much to worry about. One thing I didn't mention, I did not bring an herb sack. I would definitely recommend to do that. I have it in my other setup. Just forgot this time. You should be pretty good on inventory space. There will be some things of note that you might have to drop, but nothing too much. Really, it's that easy. Once you're down here, it's just a matter of stacking them up, running them around in a corner, and just letting the magic XP and Slayer XP roll on in. Alternatively, if you wanted to melee the task, went through the gear setups earlier, but for the inventory, I'd bring a special attack weapon, some high alk runes, an herb sack, a teleport to a Slayer Master and a teleport to your house. I'm also bringing a cannon and cannonballs so that I can just get a little bit extra XP. Some super combat potions, prayer potions, and sharks. Personally, you don't really need the prayer potions. I just like them because it guarantees I'm never going to have to bank or worry about my HP at all. And then I can AFK. Again, I'm a big fan, what can I say? But for the cannon part of this, you cannot do that in the Catacombs of Karen, so I won't be showing that spot for the melee setup. You could definitely go there with melee if you wanted to, but personally, we'll be going somewhere else. If you have a Polnovich teleport, you can get one of those by using a house teleport and a scroll of redirection on each other and teleporting on over here. If you don't have redirection scrolls, just make your way on over to the Shanty Pass, take the carpet, on over to Polnavich, and once you're here, just go ahead and run south around the entire city. Won't have to run too far, so you don't have to worry about your energy or anything. A little bit to the west of the city, you will find yourself a little smoky well. You can come on down here, and there will be a good bit of dust devils up there. Someone is killing them there. Personally, I prefer this little cannon spot right here where Runelight kindly has it marked. Throw down the cannon right here, and you have a little room with uh, a good bit of dust devils around, so the cannon will always pick them up for you, and personally i'm you know i'm just gonna go ahead and pray melee and basically afk with the catacombs there's a little bit to worry about in the sense that if your prayer goes down you might die but i mean here there's there's absolutely nothing the superior form of the dust devils you might want to pray melee against but other than that there's there's really nothing that should catch you off guard unless for some reason your slayer helm were to pop off but other than that these are the two spots that i enjoy and the two methods that i enjoy going about the task a lot of different ways that you can go at it, but those are the ones that I find the most prominent. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this Dust Devil Slayer Guide. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Anything you want to see from me, like I said earlier, make sure to leave in a comment down below. And on top of that, if you want to see more videos like this as soon as they go live, make sure to subscribe. And with that said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and uh, peace.